many times when you're developing software, you're going to have a situation like this. You have a function, a class, a method, whatever it is, and you give it a specific name. So let's say it's a nice simple name like start. Well, let's say that some other developer that's working on your project also needs a start. And this could be, you know, for example, here you're downloading an MP3 from the web and over here you start playing the MP3 from the web. So both of these are legitimate enough names and we wouldn't want to change them and say start play or start web download. That would just be a little bit ridiculous and we'd have to check in with everyone. Well, namespaces are a solution to this problem. So if we have our two start functions, these can be contained inside of their own namespace. Or if you had two start classes or whatever it was, you would have a namespace here, which would be called perhaps web. And you'd have a namespace here, which would be called perhaps player. And sorry for my atrocious writing. Oh dear. So a namespace allows you to divide your program up into specific places so that the names inside of those bits of code don't get confused with other bits of code. So you can see it's very useful to avoid what you will commonly hear called namespace clash.